What's up everyone, this is Cyberknight8610, and today we're going to be opening up a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Turbo Warrior tin. This one of the older tins, this I believe came out, what was it, uh, 2008? Yeah, this one came out in 2008, and uh, it was like the second wave of tins, I believe, for 5D's. So, it's pretty cool to see these, and I still, like I've said before, I like the tins that have like the little window where you actually see the card in that. I, I, I miss that. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this and uh, see what we get. What's in this one, is it... I'm trying to remember if this one had, like, tokens. I don't think this one had sleeves in it or anything. We'll have to see. There you go. Our promo card, which, here we go. Turbo Warrior. Looks cool. Looks, has, kind of has that uh, Johnny Bravo hair. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny about Turbo Warrior. There we go. Put the plastic over to the side. And uh, let's see what packs we have. I think Crossroads was the, the newest set at the time of this. I think it's the only way you, if I'm not mistaken, you can really get a first edition Crossroads pack. So I don't think you can actually get a first edition box. Which is kind of weird. You might have been able to also get first edition packs to a sneak preview, I guess. Those might have been the only ways in, just buying the, the booster packs separately. Uh, Moftronic Accelerator, rare. And then we have a uh, Psychokinesis, ultra rare. Now that is awesome looking. I remember getting this cartoon in one of these tins a long time ago, I guess in 2008. But uh, yeah, that is really cool. It looks kind of like a, like she's using like a Dragon Ball Z mover or something. I don't know. Pretty cool. I was wondering if they had a lot more support for psychic monsters because they were kind of the new thing. Another Crossroads. Go. And let's see, we have Morphtronics, we got Magnum, which is pretty cool. Then a Paralyzing Chain, rare. Now the Duelist Genesis. Come on, go Stardust. Or just Stardust, really. Any rarity of Stardust is uh, awesome. And we have Intercept, I almost passed it. <laughs> it didn't look like a holographic for a second. But yeah, super rare. Has uh, Ryza on the front of it, one of the Monarchs, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, Mind Over Matter. Rare. That's pretty cool rare as well. Yeah, I kind of like this card because I think it's, it seems kind of funny. It's like, yeah, throw a net at one of the Monarchs, especially whenever they're, <laughs> with their new support and everything, the, and the structure deck. Yeah, that'll work, if only. Freaking new Monarchs are scary. Oh yeah, we have a uh, lot of destruction too, by the way. We have a Discblade Rider, rare. Ah, oh, one of the Ar Arcana Force. I wish they'd print more of those. I mean, should they? I don't know, because they'll probably never be competitive, but I like the archetype. And then we have Phantom Darkness is our last pack. I just like Arcana Force. I just think they're really cool and they're fun to play. We have a Deep Sea... Uh, Macro Trema. And also Transmigration Break and everything too. That's pretty cool. Spell Chronicle. And yeah, and then what is this? This is the token pack. Okay. I thought this one had the tokens, but I didn't remember. Which, that's pretty cool to have the, the tokens in there. And you have like a... What is this? It's like to get into YCS or something or a tournament. Yeah. Free admission to a tournament. And, uh, yeah, expires May 1st of 2009, so I guess we're not going to any tournaments for free. But here we go. Get some token cards. Got two of the plant, one, and double dude. So, pretty cool. I mean, they were just kind of an added thing. That was that was before we had really any other token cards that were easy to get. That was probably easy easiest to get token cards, so, yeah, they were kind of interesting. But, yeah, there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. We did really well with this. I mean, we got a super rare. We got an ultra rare, so that's pretty awesome. And, of course, you got to get Turbo Warrior. I mean, <laughs> I still just love this card. He has pretty good effect and everything, too. I, I wish uh, they would have had more of the different warriors and stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. But, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see if I can find another Black Rose tin as well. I'd like to get one of those, especially uh, a Stardust tin and a Red Dragon Archfiend tin. So I'll be trying to look for those and also tell me other uh, tins that you guys want to see. And uh, be sure to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. Anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Whether it's in English or Japanese, I do openings over it, as well as uh, go back and get some uh, older tins and boxes and stuff too to open. Again, thank you guys for watching. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya!
Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cybernight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cybernight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!